all my life I've always kind of thought, you know, I'd like to foster. And I expected it to be different. I expected to be married and and the two of us would decide to foster and you know we would have our have some bio kids and then have some foster kids or whatever. Someone had called me one time about a young girl who was leaving foster care. Because she was aging out, she was signing herself out of foster care. And so this friend knew her and she was really worried about her that she was gonna be on her own without any support. And she said, you, could you take her in? It just like bothered my spirit for days. Um, I prayed about this girl and I had a dream and I woke up in the middle of the night and it was like the Lord just very heavily put on my heart do foster care. And then when he did say that, I knew it was immediately for teenage kids that that's what I was going to do. At that point went and applied to be a foster parent with Miracle Hill. There's a great need for fostering teens, um, primarily because a lot of foster parents, they want small children. And it's important that we foster teens because they need stability. They need a fresh start in life. And it's also important because they're our future. For teens, for me, I have this opportunity to have this young adult who is on the verge of like flying the coop, leaving the nest, that type of thing. And I have this opportunity to help them make the successful steps, do the things that would help them be successful in life. I mean, teaching them about opening a checking account going and driving a car, um, getting their first job, how to have an interview for a job, how to fill out an application for a job, college, how to, if they want to go to college, how to go through that process. Those are the kind of things that it's like, that, you know, they need that and they want that and they're looking for that. Also, we want to get, give them a fresh start. The state has so many resources for teens in foster care. They have educational resources. Um, they, have, they help them get an apartment, they help them with transportation. There's a lot of support for the kids. If they stay in foster care, if they sign themselves out at age 18, that all goes away. So I think it's important to understand that these kids who are at this, these critical teen years and beyond, they just need a, an adult who's there as a safe place and helping guide them and, and direct them and, and be that safe place to come to if they need it. So I had a, a child that had come, a foster child that had come in. And so I contacted Miracle Hill and said, hey, I need some new clothes for this child. So they showed up like the next day or day after and uh, came in with all of these clothes for her size. And she was going through, and she was like, oh yeah, oh I like that, oh I like that. But then she got to the pajamas. And she was like, pajamas. She jumped up off the couch. I mean, she was like, it was like a kid at Christmas. She was jumping up and down. I got pajamas, I got pajamas. Then she ran and she immediately put the pajamas on. And it didn't occur to me later, it may be she'd never had pajamas in her life. I wish I could talk to the person who donated those pajamas to say, let me tell you what those pajamas did for this teenage girl and what a difference it made in her life. When you foster a teen, it actually is a little bit more difficult if you don't have a support system. You need a village. You need a village if you're going to foster a teen. I think my biggest uh, support system would be the Lord because with my foster kids as well as my bio kids, I have just always found that if I got to be praying for them because I am often lost. I can't tell you how many times I've said, Lord, I have no idea what's going on with this kid. Tell me what I need to do. I have a 92-year-old mom living with me. It's precious to see how she reaches out to them on things and they reach out to her on things and, and they love her, she loves them. My sons, my bio sons are all in their 20s and so they're they're really good about, you know, being a big brother when they need to. And they've always done that with, with all of the foster kids. Church family, oh my goodness, my church family's been wonderful, supportive. 
I, I would have fought. When I went into fostering, I thought this is a way for me to give back. What I have found, it's a way I receive, and I have enjoyed every moment of it.